another Goodwill. Um, this one's actually in Orange County, I think. That's where we are. Ooh, furniture. Oh, look at that clock. Okay, I think I'm actually done with Goodwill shopping. Can't really find anything I like. I'm only gonna buy this shirt. I have my backpack on me. Buy this shirt because it's like a neon yellow color and it's like in almost new condition. I think this is a new shirt. But it's this Target. And I can't even see how this came here but anyways I like this color I think the camera picks it up weirdly but it's actually a neon yellow color I'm just gonna get that put this back on here like this and then yeah don't really have anything to buy here all right guys so this goodwill right here I think this is La Habra or something like that basically what they do is they get all of their inventory from Target. I think Target donates stuff that didn't sell that was on clearance so that's why that shirt that I got looks so clean because it was never worn. It's just a Target overstock and then we saw a lot of like uh, multiples and they had the Target clearance sticker on it so that's why like you know there's a lot of like <laughs> It's really noisy here. That's why there's a lot of, um, you know, new, unused stuff there. So what I got is I got, like, magazine holders, four of them. And then, because I have, like, a lot of paper at my place that I have to get organized. And then I got that shirt. Yeah. Hey, everyone. Um, I don't know. I don't think today's a good day for me. I've been fuming with anger since morning and right now someone has their music on really loud and I feel like I could murder someone right now but um, there's so many people who's actually bugging me and I just feel very annoyed and come April a lot of things are going to change in this household so that's kind of stressing me out and yeah so I think it was a really bad idea to actually go out today I shouldn't have gone out but I did anyways and um, I'm just trying to calm down my anger and it is not working well. What do you guys do when you're so angry you feel like you are about to explode? What do you guys do? Usually what I do is I just take a shower and I sleep. I just try to sleep it off and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't but I'm not really sleepy right now. And I can't really think of what I should do because I'm not hungry, so I don't want to eat anything. Um, I will usually clean up, but um, cleaning up is only going to take about 30 minutes, so, you know, I don't know if that's going to help. I'm trying to think, what can I do to make myself less angered? Hmm, what would you guys do? Anyways, um... Let me know what you guys do when you guys are super stressed and you don't know how to relieve the stress. Hey guys, so I took a nap with my makeup on and <laughs> I think I think that does the trick. I feel kind of better right now and oh I forgot to tell you guys, I went out today and it was kind of far away, it was near Orange County. I don't really know if La Habra, that's part of vlogging battery just ran out on me and um, I think I was talking about La Habra but anyways I don't know if La Habra is part of Orange County or not but bottom line is it's pretty far away from where I am so we just have to go we had to go there and then it was just kind of like oh it's like a very awkward situation where I did not bring my lunch like I did last time so I had to eat out 
and I was so close to meeting my goal but um, anyways I'm hoping that I won't eat out until the 15th because I actually feel very yucky right now um, I had pasta with alfredo sauce and it was good while I was eating it but after that I just felt extremely thirsty and um, yeah I just kind of feel yucky right now but um, Oh, and while I was at the restaurant, while I was washing my hands, I never actually listened to the lyrics of this song carefully before, but Whitney Houston's I'm Saving All My Love For You, I think that's the song title, that was coming out, and I was listening to the lyrics and I was like, oh, is this song about this woman and a married man having an affair? And I was like, ooh, because, um, I don't know, maybe I'm just conservative, but I really, really, really am against affairs between you know someone who's married or married people in general and um, I just thought that the song was like ooh like her voice and like the melody and everything is all good but the lyrics was kind of shocking to me um, I guess I'm just super conservative I don't know I, I was just like <gasps> I did not know that that song was about adultery but yeah um, maybe it's because I was brought up in more like a Christian setting. My parents are actually Christian. I don't have a religion, but, um, you know, even though you don't have a religion, you're brought up by your parents, so a lot of their values and stuff, you know, it gets kind of soaked into you, and it was just kind of shocking to me. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyways, what I'm going to do right now, it's 9 o'clock. I really shouldn't be eating this late every day, but... Um, you know, I just kind of took a nap, so I have to eat dinner. Um, I'm debating what I should eat. Uh, really not that hungry, but I, I have a feeling that I'm going to go to bed and feel hungry. Alright guys, <laughs> I know this looks kind of disgusting, but I actually came across this when I was in college. And I made it for my roommate, and she loved it, and I, lo I still love this. This is like a very good snack. And um, we basically ate this like almost every night for a month and then we got kind of sick of it. But anyways, um, I just kind of uh, kind of sauteed the kimchi with very little oil. The key is like you use minimum oil because you don't want these getting soggy. You just want to add a little bit so it doesn't stick to the pan. And if you have like a non-stick pan, then that's better then you don't have to use any oil but um, anyways you just kind of like get this until it gets to the verge of um, burning and actually what's great about this is rice cakes you guys who have experience with rice cakes probably knows that once you start cooking them for a while and if they don't have water they get really hard and crispy you don't want it too hard but you kind of want it at that crispy level and then it gets really really good um, I know it looks like really yucky but I recommend all of you to try this if you have any access to kimchi and rice cakes and then I threw in like two mandus because I was just craving some mandus yeah anyway someone asked me like oh why do you always eat like fried mandus and stuff and the thing is like it's a recent phenomenon in my life I usually didn't eat fried stuff until I went to Texas and then my parents kind of like not my parents my mom kind of ruined my appetite because she likes feeding me anything and everything and you know I don't really say no to food so <laughs> the whole frying habit actually got picked up in Texas again and um, no I actually have a very 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 slow metabolism so you know I pile up a lot of pounds really easily as you could probably see like my face is getting bigger and bigger because my cheeks are expanding because I'm getting so much weight lately but um, yeah uh, I'm kind of like a reckless eater I eat first and then I regret after I'm done eating so this is gonna be my snackish dinner because I didn't really want to eat dinner I'm not really feeling hungry at all but I just want to have something in my stomach before I go to sleep so that's going to be about it. And for those of you guys who are in Southern California, do you guys feel the heat or is it just me just sweating in here? I feel like I suffered so much in Texas 
last summer. Seriously, like it was a month full of three digit numbers. It was always constantly above 100 degrees and it was so painful. It was like the most painful summer that I've ever experienced in my entire life and it was so traumatizing because we had like an attack of fire ants in our house and I got bitten and it was just like fire ants and then the heat and the only time that was actually bearable was around like 5 or 6 in the morning when the temperature kind of cooled down to like the high 80s and like early 90s that one hour was actually heaven and I lived for that hour because that was the only time when I felt like I was able to at least kind of resist the heat but I just feel like I'm reliving that nightmare of last summer again because um, when, when you know I was in Korea or New York they would have four seasons right it'd be like spring come summer and the fall and then you have like that winter but I feel like ever since I went to Texas and I came to LA it's just it's like a continuous summer I don't feel like I ever escaped last summer and I just feel like I'm going straight into summer right now because temperatures are hitting like I don't know like 80 degrees like the high 80s and I feel like oh I don't like this yeah uh, I don't know how I'm going to deal with the heat if LA starts heating up but yeah for those of you guys who are struggling with the heat good luck and for those of you guys who are in the cooler areas I really 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 wish I'd be there so um, yeah I'm just going to start eating this before it gets cold and I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow bye